Welcome to this week's Medical Minute. I'm Dr. Richard Levine, and today we're going to be talking about digital dental sensor care. Now, as you all know, the call that you don't want to make is to myself or Dr. Cohen with the sad news that your digital sensor got bitten in half by that great Dane that you were taking dental x-rays on. So we do want to make sure that we're exercising great caution when we're using these dental sensors. We know that replacing them runs upward of $6,000 to do. So we definitely want to take those steps to help prevent damage. The most important thing we're talking about with preventing bite, uh, bites to sensors is uh, using a uh, speculum of some kind to help prevent uh, the animal being able to bite down on the sensor. So we have a couple of options. One is a clear triangular bite block made by Jurgensen. The problem with these guys is they tend to fall out of the mouth very easily. Um, the other option that many of you have known and used is syringe casings. It's cut to just open the mouth wide enough that uh, the syringe casing will be retained on the canine teeth and you can then position your sensor. The problem with the uh, the syringe casings, are, since they're rigid pr plastic, they don't stay in very well. A solution I came across from one of our own practices was using old endotracheal tubes, the sticky silastic type, that we size to just fit snugly over the canines, cut to a length that will uh, prevent the sensor from being injured. But the nice thing about using the endotracheal tubes is that they don't fall out. So once that they're wedged onto the canine teeth, they tend to stay in place and uh, you can move the sensor in and out of the mouth and change the position of the pet, pet without losing your bite protection. So I strongly recommend you guys giving uh, the endotracheal tube uh, sections a try for your bite protection. So a couple other things when it comes to your sensor care. One of them is to make sure that your patient is completely under uh, general anesthesia and in a, in a good anesthetic plane before you start your radiographs. So it's a good idea to do your oral charting and um, your general triage of the mouth before you start doing your radiographs to give yourself and your anesthesia uh, a, a technician the time to get a good surgical plane before we start uh, putting the sensor in the mouth. And then just as a double check, uh, use a tongue depressor around the mouth to make sure that there's no reaction to various places, especially by the TM joint, tends to stay sensitive. And so you want to check that area to make sure that the animal has no reaction. Also checking palpebral reflexes and other signs that we're in a good anesthetic plane. The, um, the other thing that you can do to help protect the sensor is to use the plastic sleeves that come with the sensor and then wrap a small bit of vet wrap around the sensor to help keep it from slipping and just generally protect it. So those things should really help you with your dental sensor care. Uh, and uh, look forward to uh, our next video in one week. Thank you very much.